once again to my studio in New Zealand. Now, as a mentor and a tutor for artists, I'm always being asked which brushes do I like to use, which are my favourites, why do I choose them, which brands, which fibre, shapes and also sizes. So I thought this is an ideal opportunity to have a chat with you and pass on the hints and tips that I can offer to you to help you choose. I remember when I first started painting in oils and I wanted to choose the right brushes and I went into an art supply shop and I was absolutely daunted by the huge range of oil painting brushes, the brands and the different shapes. Where to start? I certainly didn't want to waste time or money by selecting unsuitable brushes. But I did waste many years and a lot of money experimenting with brushes, but I did learn a great deal too. Many brushes did cause me a great deal of frustration. Hairs ending up in my paintings, the, the brushes dropping hairs, paint from the handle of the brushes. Now that was really annoying when it got into my wet paint. Some of the fibres splayed in no time at all. So it actually ended up a very expensive exercise because I just had to keep replacing those brushes often. But over a number of years, I repeatedly heard other professional artists sing the praises of Rosemary & Co brushes. I have great respect for the opinions of those professional artists, so I thought that I'd give Rosemary & Co brushes a try. If you try them, you'll immediately appreciate the quality and also the consistency and you'll, you'll come to appreciate the reliability of their brushes. Those things are so important, but the other things that I look for are the flex, the spring back and the shape of course and also the delivery of the paint from my brush onto my painting. And the longevity of the fibre and hair is also really important because that's the thing that will allow you to use them for years. These brushes I've had for about six years and they're like new. One other thing that I look for is I want a natural extension of my arm. I want to be able to create an expressive brush stroke. And that's what I can get with these brushes because the quality allows it. Now on the Rosemary & Co website, you'll see that the brushes are divided into series. My absolute favorite oil painting brushes are the Evergreen series, Ivory series and also the Pure Sable series. Now the Evergreen, this is my absolute workhorse. It's got beautiful flex and it's lovely and strong. I often use this for the first layers, my block ends of colour. Then there's the Ivory. This one in particular is the, a long flat and it's got a, a different type of flex. What I love about this one is that I, I can pick up my paint and if I hold it vertically, I can lay in a lot of paint in just one, two, three strokes. That saves a lot of time. But if I want to lessen the amount of paint that I lay in, I just start to lift it a little bit more horizontally and progressively, I can choose how much paint I'm going to lay in. So all these things you become so familiar with, but it allows me to paint with ease. Now, the Pure Sable I use for my final layers, my fine tuning layers, and this is what gives the finesse and the professional touch to my work. For those keen to know the shapes of brushes that I love to use, for the Evergreens and also the Ivories, I find the Filberts and also the Flats give a great range and a wide range of strokes and mark making choices. Filberts allow me to describe shapes and also nudge into those straight edges as well as those rounded forms. Flats used on the tip edge, on the side 
or on the flat are just so very versatile and also multi-purpose. They create thin lines, narrow strokes, even wide swathes can be created with ease when I use that flat side of the brush. Now my favourite sable shape to use is the dome, ideal for the, that last layer, the all-important fine-tuning layer where everything just seems to come together with, with that professional edge that we're all after. So explore Rosemary & Co website. You can buy the brushes online, rosemaryandco.com. In my experience, they're great people to deal with, but also very knowledgeable. They seem to be a very highly successful company, but I really do think that brushes speak for themselves. So once you know about them, try them. I'm sure you'll find all the things that I've said and even so much more. Oh, and my order was shipped to New Zealand in a really good time. Now that's just so important, isn't it? We, we want our brushes to arrive in good time. Also, while you're there, check out my website for more information on these brushes, on the sizes and more uses. But while you're there, you'll also find that there are numerous free art lessons, there are free videos, and, oh yes, don't forget, have a look in the book section and media section, you'll find that there are many articles that I've written for numerous international art magazines, so there's a lot there. Enjoy. It's been a real pleasure to be able to help you on your journey, so do check out Rosemary & Co brushes. I'm sure you'll love them as much as I do.